hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial series from the file ICT Academy video library in this tutorial I will be answering one of the questions of the recently concluded uh, ICT elective practical exams um, for school candidates now as you can see we have uh, uh, I'm gonna be answering number three first then later I will answer um, number two which is HTML and then the Microsoft publisher so if you look at here the question number three says using a spreadsheet application prepare a payroll template for high-tech solutions and format it as shown in table one so I've already created um, I've already typed the information and uh, yeah so we can proceed from there so it says compute uh, the gross salary of each employee now if you look at in the table here you have the heading which uh, contains the name of the company and then you have the names of the employees and then you have their basic salary you have their allowances so we need to figure out their gross salary tax and then their net salary so here it says compute the gross gross salary of each employee tax deduction of 15 percent on the basic salary for each employee net salary for each employee and then the totals for each column okay that is the total for each column here and then furthermore it says change the net salary figures to currency format so it did not indicate any currency format so you can use any currency format insert a header with your full name replace the name in cell a7 with your full name save the workbook or worksheet as uh, payroll in the folder created on the desktop okay note it says uh, gross salary equals to so here is just giving you a tip that the gross salary equals to salary plus allowance and the net salary equals to gross salary equals to tax so this is a good tip for students so let's just format this properly so that it looks exactly like what we have on the question paper so first i'm gonna highlight go to the home tab uh, and then inside the alignment here uh, now let me see inside front uh, i will apply all borders and as you can see high tech is taking two columns if you look at here uh, sorry two rows row number one and row number two so what i'm going to do here i'm going to just highlight from here to here and then i will look for uh, margin center where is margin center again uh -huh. we'll come to march and center so automatically when you do when you click on margin center then you will see that uh, you you have it look exactly like how it is on the question paper okay so i'm gonna make it bold also gonna make these subheadings bold okay all right so first let's answer the first question which is gross salary of each employee so what i'm gonna do here so let me just delete this what i'm gonna do the gross salary here is going to be equal to uh, the basic allowance which here should be b4 so i'm going to click on the cell to make it easy b4 then i say plus the allowance here is c4 so for the first um, employee so the first employee uh, the value for the basic salary and the allowance is b4 uh, b4 and c4 so once you say uh, b4 plus c4 then you press enter that should give you the total for that so once you get the first one so you can easily replicate that formula remember excel uses what is called relative reference uh, because the first cell here you said b4 plus c4 so once you click or you place your mouse point at the bottom right hand side here this button here is called the fill handle so once you click and drag down it will give you the results of the remaining so you don't need to go and then calculate them one by one so because this is b4 to c b4 plus c4 then excel will predict that the next one must be 
b5 c5 and so on so that's what they call relative reference in excel so here the next one says tax deduction so this one is a deduction here the, this gross salary is the total of the basic salary and the allowance so here we'll come and say equals to the basic remember the deduction is from the basic salary not from the allowance so we'll say b4 times uh, where is multiplication okay b4 times 15 percent so the percentage here is very very important okay so once you say b4 times 15 percent so excel will extract 15 percent from what uh, the value that is inside uh, b4 so when i press enter it will give me 2368.65 okay so i'll autofill that one to get the results of the remaining and the next it says net salary for each employee so the net salary here now if you look at in the tip it says net salary equals to gross gross salary uh, minus tax so we're going to say equals to the gross salary minus tax which is a deduction then we press enter so that should give us the net salary so i will drag and then get the rest so um the next one says uh totals for each column so i'll come here say equals to here i can use sum because it's more than two i will say equals to sum and once i open the bracket i can highlight from here to here and then press enter and that should give me the total for the total basic salary so now if i want the total allowances the total for gross salary the total for tax and the total for net salary all i have to do is to replicate the formula just like what i've been doing so but this time i'm going across so i'll place my mouse pointer on the fill handle and then i will drag to the right so now i have um, the totals uh, I, I have um, answered the questions from that section so let's check so now uh as you can see these ones are having decimal places if you want to remove the decimal places even though they did not ask you for that but just in case you want to remove the decimal places you can um, come to the number tab you have these two buttons here increase and decrease decimals okay increase and decrease decimals okay but also if you look at here there's a comma separator so how do i add that comma separator so let me highlight all of them um go to the number group you see the comma here so click on the comma then the comma will add the uh, separator then you can reduce the decimals to zero mm -hmm. decimals okay um yes so sometimes you may see something like this with a hashtag anytime you see that just know that um, the content of that cell does not fit in the column so all you have to do is to expand the column a little bit all right so let's let's continue um, C said um, change the net salary um, figures to currency format. So the net salary, I will highlight those figures. Come to numbers. So these are all currency symbols, but they did not indicate which currency symbol you should use. Um, uh, so even if you use the US dollar, that's fine. But if I told you want to use, for example, Gambian dollar, C, you can come up here and then go to more formats and then so once this dialog box is open then you can come here uh, so there's a list of different currency symbols here so but uh, gmd starts with a g so you can press g several times until you see gmd then you click on it you can reduce the decimal place to zero and then you click ok okay so for here no um, currency a symbol is indicated they just say uh, change the net salary figures to currency format so whatever currency so, um, format you add here should be fine so it says insert a header with your full name insert a header with your full name so to insert a header you have to go to the view tab in the view tab uh, you should see the different workbook views so where you can use here is the page layout but if you look at here at the bottom also you have the options there page layout so once you click on page layout then you will now see the header so you have the header and at the bottom here you have the footer okay so we click on the header here so most of the time in excel exams um, uh, you are usually requested to either add 
and information in the header or in the footer so take note of that uh, so let's it says uh, inside the header your full name so I'm going to type my full name I'm going to type my full name and then it says uh, insert okay replace the name in cell a7 with your full name so i'm going to back go back to normal view so if you want to go back to normal view you can click here or you can go back to the view and then click here and then say normal yeah so all you have to do so you come to cell a7 click on cell a7 and then you type your full name and then press enter that's all uh, it says save the worksheet as payroll in the folder created okay the worksheet or the workbook i don't know but here if you want you can also name this work but this is actually the worksheet okay i think this would have said save the workbook so the worksheet here we can just say payroll okay we name it as payroll and then we go to file save as browse and then we save the workbook as payroll also inside your folder so look for your folder so let's say my folder is here uh, then i will save it as excel okay so i think that uh, answered all the questions so um thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to follow up for the next videos that are coming up all right bye bye